Welcome to this session on securing your data in the Software Defined Data Center. My name is Winsor Su, and I'm a Senior Director of Engineering at Daytrium. At Daytrium, we converge compute, primary storage, secondary storage, or backup storage, and archival to the cloud. And this allows you to keep your customers happy or make them happier while saving you lots of time. So to find out more about how this new kind of converged infrastructure can help you do your job faster and simpler, stop by our booth down at the Solutions Expo. We are at booth 618, which is near the front entrance of the Solutions Expo. Now back to this vBrown bag session. I'm going to be talking about how to secure your data without hardware dependencies. Organizations today increasingly have sensitive and private data that they must protect from unintended and unauthorized disclosure. And a lot of system vendors and storage vendors out there have responded to this need by providing some sort of encryption capability, capability in their various products. All of these encryption features can be broadly classified into three categories. Right, three approaches, but they all have issues. Right, the first approach is to use self-encrypting drive, or SED. Uh, SEDs. Essentially, what this approach does is that it uses the storage device to encrypt the data. And that means the data is not protected until it reaches the individual storage devices. And if you happen to have a bunch of storage devices that are not SEDs, and there's a business need to encrypt data, you have to go out there and buy new devices, provision them, and then eventually manage them as a separate pool of storage. Now the second approach to encrypting data is to rely to leverage the CPU resources on the storage array controller to perform the encryption. One variation of this approach is to use the equivalent of the converged, the converged equivalent of the, soft, of the storage uh, controller to perform the encryption, and that is what vSAN uses. In this approach, the data is again not protected until it reaches where the encryption is happening, which is in this case the storage array uh, controller. So data is not protected on the host or on the network uh, between the host and the storage. And uh, we all know that um, the uh, storage array controller tends to be the performance bottleneck. It's a choke point because it has to perform I.O. processing for many hosts. Adding encryption to the many things it already does is just not helping. The third approach is to encrypt data at the hypervisor or application level. Right. And this approach does protect the data right on the host where the data is being generated. However, it renders ineffective any data reduction techniques downstream. So we're talking about deduplication and compression. And these techniques routinely save massive amounts of, of uh, storage and replication bandwidth. We're not just talking about 10 or 20 percent, but several hundred percent. So that means if you turn on encryption at the storage, at the uh, uh, hypervisor or application level, you have to be prepared to, to uh, store many times more data and to replicate many times more data. The good news is there is now a fourth approach to encrypting data, and that addresses uh, the problems we just discussed. And this is the Daytrim blanket encryption. And we have many of our customers are already leveraging this capability to protect the data in the software-defined data center. With Daytrim blanket encryption, you get end-to-end -end encryption starting on the hosts that are actually running the application and extending through the network to the storage node or the data node and to the storage devices on both the hosts and the data node. And uh, uh, data reduction techniques work with, blanket, uh, with Daytrim blanket encryption, so you get the same savings that you are used to getting uh, with deduplication and compression. Uh, this uh, blanket encryption from Daytrim uh, is software driven with no hardware dependencies and, uh, and the amazing thing is it's very fast. In fact, the performance scales as your workload scales, as your environment scales and you, ha and you add more hosts into the system. So it automatically has this built-in scaling capability. Now let's talk a little bit more about how this is actually done. In the Daytrim DVX architecture, there is software running on each of the hosts. And uh, each of the hosts can be a DVX, uh, a Daytrim compute node, or a third-party x86 server. Uh, we accept 
either our own compute node or a server that you already have or that you intend to buy from another vendor. And this software actually performs the encryption. So data is encrypted when it gets to this piece of software on all the hosts. And before the data goes over the network to the NVRAM on the data node, before it, gets, uh, it goes on the network over to the data node, to the cost-optimized storage devices on the data node. It is also encrypted before it is stored on the flash devices that we use as a cache on all the hosts. And furthermore, it is en encrypted before it is sent over the wire to a remote replica. So in other words, the DVX software running all the hosts is the point of entry into the protection domain. And from then on, the data is protected throughout its life cycle within the Daytrim DVX. And the best part is it works with uh, data reduction techniques. And how does that happen? While we perform compression on the clear text data, on the data before it is encrypted, we also perform detailed processing on the data before it is encrypted. This is what enables us to give you the same savings that you are accustomed to uh, having without encryption. So with or without encryption, you get a safe, dramatic savings in storage cost and in replication bandwidth. So uh, one of the very common objections to using a pure software-driven approach to encryption is it's going to be slow. It's going to use up CPU cycles and performance will tank. Well, that's not the case with the Daytrim blanket encryption. And there are many reasons for it. I'll just touch on a couple or uh, three of them uh, uh, right now. The first is Daytrim blanket encryption uses the AES NI engine that is available on all the Intel and AMD processors. Uh, all of them have, have had it for many years. So uh, this is the AES NI engine is kind of a hardware assist and accelerator for encryption. And this is already available in the ESX hosts on all of them. And in fact, they're actually idle most of the time. So we're leveraging this idle resource to perform encryption, and it performs it really well. The second reason it's blazingly fast is because we use the, the FIPS-approved AES XTS-256 crypto algorithm. And this algorithm is actually designed specifically to leverage the AES NI engine that you have on all your Intel and AMD processors. Of course, that's the third point. The third point is, if you look at the Daytrim architecture, we leverage CPU resources on all the hosts. So as your workload increases and you bring in more hosts to handle the workload, you automatically scale the encryption performance. So the net result is blazingly fast performance. No noticeable impact on performance with encryption on. And to, to top it all off, we've made it simple, to, easy to use and deploy. So uh, the Daytrim DVX comes with everything you need to start securing your data in the software-defined data center. It comes with a built-in, the Daytrim DVX comes with a built-in uh, key manager that is integrated into the Daytrim data node. It also comes with the ability to securely erase data by simply forgetting the encryption key. If you look at the architecture, there is DVX software running on each of the many hosts. And then this DVX software includes an encryptor agent that works on behalf of the encryptor master to give you a single encryption system. So although the Daytrim, Daytrim blanket encryption covers many devices, many device types, uh, across the many hosts, across the many data nodes, and across the network in between, connecting the two, you only have one system to manage. And to top it all off is one command to turn on. If there is a new requirement, uh, if there is now a business need to encrypt data, there is no need to go out and buy new hardware. It's software driven. Right? There's only a command to turn it on. And in addition, I think the really important thing is, not only is there one command to turn on, but is, there's no worries to turning it on. Deduplication and compression works just like before. There's no need to go out and provision more storage to worry about, hey, how do I get more replication bandwidth to the remote site? No such worries. And performance is as fast with or without encryption. So no performance worries, no need to think about buying a new controller, buying, trying to figure out how to balance your workloads because you're going to turn encryption on. If there is a business need to acquire, to uh, secure your data, simply turn it on. That's as simple as it, as it gets. So this theme, in summary, uh, the Daydream Blanket Encryption offers you robust, comprehensive protection. Protection that is actually 
usable, simple to use, simple to deploy, and simple to manage over the lifetime of the system. And if you think about it, this theme of simplicity, actually this theme of uh, solid capability that's actually easy to use, doesn't just stop at the Datrim blanket encryption. Right? It is a theme that permeates the Datrim DVX. The Datrim DVX is a new kind of converged infrastructure that converges compute, primary storage, secondary storage or backup storage, and archival to the cloud. Uh, so uh, only one system to handle. And that's what the Datrim uh, uh, simplicity is about. So stop by our booth down at the Solutions Expo, uh, booth 618, right near the front entrance of the Solutions Expo to find out more. Thank you.